The price of one liter of gasoline is one dollar and five cents. On a level road, Darlene's car uses 0.08 liters of fuel for every kilometer driven. If Darlene drives 50 kilometers, how much did the gas cost to fuel the trip? How many steps does it take to solve this problem without using composition? First, we'll calculate the total volume of gas used on the trip. The volume of gas used is the rate of gas consumption times the distance driven. The rate of gas consumption is 0.08 liters per kilometer, and the distance driven is 50 kilometers. The volume of gas used is 4 liters. Next, we'll calculate how much money the trip costs. The amount of money required for the trip can be found by multiplying the cost of gas by the volume of gas. The cost of gas is $1.05 per liter, and the volume of gas used is 4 liters. Multiply to get 4.20. The cost of the trip is $4.20. It took two separate calculations to find the answer. Now we'll move on to part B. Write a function, V of D, for the volume of gas consumed as a function of the distance driven. Recall from our work in part A that the volume of gas required for a trip is the rate of gas consumption times the distance driven. We can write this as the function V of D equals RD. The rate of gas consumption is constant since we are driving on a level road. We can replace R with its numeric value, 0.08 liters per kilometer. The function is v of d equals 0.08d. Now we'll move on to part c. Write a function, m of v, for the cost of the trip as a function of gas volume. Recall from our work in part A that the amount of money required for the trip can be found by multiplying the cost of gas by the volume of gas. We can write this as the function m of v equals cv. The cost of gas is a constant, so we can replace c with its numeric value, $1.05 per liter. The function is m of v equals 1.05v. Using function composition, combine the functions from parts b and c into a single function, m of d, where m is the money required for the trip. Draw the graph. In parts b and c, we found the functions v of d equals 0.08d and m of v equals 1.05v. How is function composition useful for this problem? When a change in one quantity, the distance driven, affects a second quantity, the volume of gas, which in turn affects a third quantity, money, we can use function composition to combine these changes into a single function. The volume of gas depends on the distance driven. The money spent depends on the volume of gas. Replace V with 0.08D. This gives us 0.084d. The composite function is m of d equals 0.084d.
We now have a function that expresses money in terms of distance. Finally, we'll draw the graph of the function. This graph shows the amount of money a trip costs as a function of the distance driven. Now we'll move on to part E. Solve the problem from part A again, but this time use the function derived in part D. How many steps does the calculation take now? In part D, we found the composite function m of d equals 0.084d, which gives us the money required for the trip as a function of the distance driven. We can find the amount of money required to drive 50 kilometers by plugging in 50 for the function input. The trip costs $4.20. This point exists on the graph of m of d at the point 50, 4.20. Why is it important to learn function composition? Function composition is used to reduce the number of separate calculations required to solve a problem. When we calculated the cost of the trip without using composition, we needed two equations. Using function composition, we were able to condense both equations into a single function. This lets us solve the problem with one calculation instead of two. Function composition plays a very important role in computer programming. While it may be conceptually easier to work out problems in multiple steps, this wastes system resources. Suppose we wrote a program that was going to output the cost of Darlene's trip for all integral distances between 1 and 100 kilometers. How does function composition save system resources? Without using composition, each calculation requires two steps for a total of 200 steps. With composition, each calculation requires one step for a total of 100 steps. This is more efficient.